If you're in search of an affordable exhaust that will enhance your off-road ability and also offer some good but not over-the-top sound, this MBRP 3-inch XP Series High Clearance Filter Back Turndown Exhaust System will be a great pick for your 2021 or newer 3.0 Eco Diesel Gladiator. Now getting right into sound, this will be a 2 out of 5 on the loudness meter with 1 being completely stock and 5 being wake the neighbors loud. The sound level here will make it a good option for the Gladiator owner not looking to be overpowered with volume, but wants a deeper tone to the exhaust and also a comfortable cab environment. Now this DPF system will also be a good option for the JT owners who are taking their truck off-road since this will tuck higher up than the average system, allowing a good amount of clearance underneath the rear end of the truck to minimize any exhaust trail damage uh, while you're off-roading. This system will be made of 3-inch diameter T409 stainless steel piping for smooth and direct airflow and also some great rust resistance. Now this will mount up from the diesel particulate filter back so you won't have to worry about modifying the exhaust when it comes to the emissions. This will also have a direct bolt-on configuration and will come with factory style hangers and the clamp that you need for install, making it super hassle-free. Like I mentioned before, this is a super affordable choice for a DPF back exhaust at roughly $200. Now, in comparing this to some other options in the category, this will offer good performance in the fact that it's, it's going to be a high tuck system or a turndown system, great for the avid off-roader, and it's made from quality materials, so you don't have to do much compromising. Now, other systems may have a different build with a side exit, different colored tips, or even made of a different material like 304 or even aluminized steel. Now, I think if you're looking for good sound and good clearance for your next trail ride or just everyday adventure, then this is going to be a great choice. Now, install will be a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you roughly two hours to get the job done with some pretty basic hand tools. Now, one of our customers here has installed this on their JT and is going to walk you through what that process looks like right now. So that wraps it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so these are the tools that I, tools that I used. Uh, use some mechanics gloves. A flashlight, 15 millimeter socket, a 3 8 inch wrench, a 13 millimeter socket, and 10 millimeter socket with an extension. I also used a half inch um, ratchet with the uh, 21 millimeter socket uh, <clears throat> and a 21 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter wrench. Use this to help get the uh, the exhaust pipe apart. I have the instructions. Also use the uh, uh, spare tire remover, uh, the prank for that uh, out, out of the gladiator, and then just a shop rag. And, uh, and then just to loosen up those hangers on the exhaust, use the uh, penetrating loop. All right, the first step is to apply penetrating lube to the, uh, <clears throat> to the exhaust fasteners. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that here. Ooh, got a little bit of a leak. And then go back to the next one. All right, here's the next one. We're gonna spray it up on here. Trip there, and then there's one more. The last one's right up here. Here's the here's the last one. I think we got the light better on there. All right. Okay. So we got our penetrating lube on each of the fasteners. We'll let that sit for a minute, and we're going to take down the uh, spare tire. So we're gonna connect these rods. They just clip together. And then they slide right in the back under the tailgate here. Goes this way. You wanna have the, the open end going in. And then it goes in at a little bit of an angle. There's a little notch in your bumper that kind of shows you the angle that it should be. So then you can start cranking. And this will lower down your spare tire. And 
drop it all the way down to where it's even laying on the ground. All right, so now we're gonna try and get this little hook out of here. If you turn it sideways, usually you can pull it through once you get down on the ground. And so it just comes through, it has a spring on the end. All right, so our spare tire is loose now and we'll pull it out of the way. Okay, the next step is to loosen and move the rear track bar. So I have a 21 millimeter wrench and a 21 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen this up. I did get it a little bit loose before I started. This is not the stock bar. It is a one for my lift, so it might look a little bit different on yours. I'm gonna drop this down and out of the way. drops all on its own. Okay, next we're gonna remove the heat shield for the spare tire. This is a 10 millimeter socket. like they're kind of tucked up under here. Do that one by hand now. And it is right up here. A little bit easier access than the last one. Looks like there is one more after that. All right, that is loose. The next step is to remove the nuts off of the exhaust flange here. So this is a 13 millimeter socket. See, there's a gasket in there. The new exhaust came with a new exhaust gasket. These exhaust brackets are meant to move around a little bit, so they're rubber. Let's see if we can flex this a little bit, get it to come out. Okay, so I've got a little mini pry bar I'm gonna try and pull these apart with. Because I think that once I can get these separated, I can, I can uh, pull that exhaust and move it a little bit. So let's see how this works. Get them to slide out. So what I'm going to do to try and make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to 
undo these, this front part of the exhaust. These two bolts up here. Right up here. See if we can drop down this exhaust a little bit and help get it out of the way. This is a 13 2. It came loose really easy. Look at that, see how much that moved? That is mostly out of the way now. Let's see if that gives us enough room over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at maybe loosening up the ones that go to this, these exhaust clamps too. The reason I'm doing this is the instructions suggest maybe cutting it. And I'm trying to get this done without cutting it. Alright, I can see a little better now. Let me get these bolts out. right off those two bolts undone so now that should make this a lot easier and I just be able to slide this forward now let's see all right so I just noticed something that's holding this up there is a plate in there. Okay, so you can see right up in here, this ex exhaust bracket, it looks like it's meant to hit this metal bar to keep it from sliding forward. And so I'm going to undo this bracket to try and drop this down and get it out of the way of this metal bracket. I think we're looking at another 13 millimeter socket to get those loose. just has one hanger up there. You can see <clears throat> right there. So I'm thinking if we just push this forward, it'll come loose. Okay, now the whole system is loose. Now the question is, is can we twist it enough to get it down and out? without cutting it still. So, now I do have a 
three and a half inch lift, and so that's probably what's making this easy. Easier. And it is just sliding straight out the back. Alright. So now we have the stock exhaust removed, and I think that's going to be the more challenging part just because there's no more pieces to it. Next up, installing the MBRP exhaust. So here is the ex under part without the exhaust up in there. You can see the right up there, the exhaust bracket that you can slide it into. Those came out really easy with the uh, penetrator in there. And so we are going to get this new system installed. Okay, next up we need to reinstall the track bar and the spare cover. So let's get this track bar up here again. linkage back up. Okay, so the first step to hanging this new system is we're gonna install the hanger bracket loosely. So this, and get it back up in place. So this is kinda across here. And then this is your hanger bracket. I'm gonna slide that on, same direction it came off. Uh, the orange kind of points to the rear if you mix that up. I'm doing these loosely. There's a little bit left on these. I'll come back and tighten them. Okay, so you can see the end of the pipe that I just installed with the clamp on there and then we've got our hanger bracket right up above it right up there so now we're gonna see if we can slide this in here how much work this is gonna take i don't know well, we shall see all right well it takes a little bit of work gotta get this thing in here Well, there we go, got it. Okay, so while we're sliding, we can try and get it to line up with this. And now we have pipe connected. My clamp ended up sliding down. Let me bring that back around here. Line that up so that it's easy to get to. Exhaust hanger up here. And 
try and get this up here loosely. Okay, we're gonna connect the exhaust flange now. So we need to get this gasket in between here. First. And this, is, this is the hardware provided with the exhaust. It comes with a couple washers and lock washers on it. And also we got the gasket that came with the, the new system. Try and get this gasket up in here so that it can be stuck between these two. Bring it up. Got our 13 millimeter wrench and socket. Get these going. Okay, and then I, I did loosen up this one on the front part of the exhaust just to help me get it on, and so tighten these back up. Now we just need to go through and torque everything that's loose. These ones I just tight. So I'm going to tighten up the uh, hanger up here. Left it kind of loose. those on and then I'm gonna go and we're gonna tighten up these two up here with the back hanger I 
got those torqued down. And finally, we have our, we need to do the clamp. Okay, so finally, we're gonna tighten up this pipe clamp and we will have the new system ready to go. Then we'll just need to put the spare tire back on. Yeah, it sounds. Clamp is on, and we've gone through and retightened, <clears throat> tightened up all the semi-loose nuts, and we are good to go. Okay, so for the spur tire, we're going to slide it back into place. Try and get it centered. Feed the spring through and then the block hanger in at an angle. Now that we have that in, we can go back and crank it up. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and the install of this MBRP three inch XP series high clearance filter back turn down exhaust system getting all 2021 and newer 3.0 Eco Diesel Gladiators. For more videos and products just like this, remember to always keep it right here at extremeframe.com.